Hi, this is P from Sorcery Soap, and today we're going to make a pretzel. So I start out with gold soap dough. This is butterscotch. You could use any color of gold. I just find that the lighter the soap dough, um, it's easier because the trick of this isn't the color of the soap dough necessarily, but it is the shape of it. Not as big, but I don't want to use as much soap dough. I want them to be smaller this time. These were for pictures. Just make sure that the cracks are all smoothed out, but that's what I like. You don't have to do that. Okay, so we'll let that dry. And then I'm gonna show you how to paint these too. So if your soap dough gets a little bit um, stiff, all I have to do is wet your hands a bit and then start trying to mash your soap dough again. So I did it the other way, I flipped it around with this. Now I've watched people make pretzels and the thing about making things with soap appear like you want them to appear is it's less about taking them quite so literally. I actually like that one a little bit better because it's thicker through here. I want them to be the same size. I mean, I like the heart shape of this too. Hmm. Let's do this one over again. Maybe make it a little fatter. those sizes a bit better. That's good for for photos, but this is much better. So, okay, so we've made two now, and it's okay that it's a little bit, we're gonna paint those in a little bit. But the thing about this is I used a particular type, I think it's called Mulan. Oh, I just dinged that. Um, it's flaky salt, it's literally salt. Like, I hate that we have to use the word literally because people speak now in so many, they use the word literally and actually when it doesn't need to be said. So I'm telling you that this is salt. So there's salt, but uh, the color of it is painted with uh, micas. And I'm gonna show you how I painted the mica color on here um, in a second. And then I just, I think I sprayed it with alcohol, but you could put, like I just reattached the salt with water and it didn't, because it's the flaky part, it probably sprayed best with water because alcohol seems to create some sort of layer. It cleans it up, but it creates sort of a layer to, um, that's why I use alcohol. I've, I've realized that it's, there's more truth to that than I understood when, uh, right before I move, remove a stencil after I've put soap on, to spray it with alcohol helps it to release which is an interesting thought. I, I don't know what the chemistry is of it, but anyway, so let's get on with that. So now I'm gonna show you how to paint these pretzels and put salt on. I don't usually show how to paint very much um, simply because I don't really know how I do it. 
Um, as a kid, I used to paint and draw early, and the adults in my life would say, how did you learn to do that? And I couldn't answer, and I always felt rel relatively inadequate because I couldn't answer the question. And I think I just came into this world knowing how to do it, or maybe it was from studying pictures, I, I don't know. But I've been doing it since I was a little kid, and so I don't know how it came to be. Anyway, I'm using a couple different colors, browns here, in my little brown pots. I might have enough. And this is alcohol, 91% alcohol. And they dry up eventually, so I just revive them a bit. And then this is the flaky soap that I'm going to use, or soap, flaky salt that I'm going to use. I keep it in here. Yeah, we eat a lot of salt in our house. We like salt. And salt is actually good for you. Did you know that the Roman soldiers were paid in salt? Because that's how important salt is for you. Not sodium and the having eating carbohydrates with garbage in it, but actual salt is really important to the human body. So yeah, that's a, another thing that we'll talk about maybe another day or not. But I once went for um, a really long time maybe, I don't know, six months a year or something like that, and stopped eating all fat because I thought fat and salt made me fat. So I stopped eating both of those things, and I got really sick and my hair fell out. <laughs> That's another story too. Okay, so all I'm going to do is sort of guess at this. You can see I just sort of swiped it around. So, and it, we're going to, um, well, we'll just, I'll just see. And the reason that I do the gold uh, soap dough is because I want it to come through. And if I used brown, I'd have to put gold. And it's easier to have a lighter soap dough color on this, in this occasion, and then shadow it versus try to put highlights on it. So pretzels are sort of brown and wonderful. I would eat them if I could. So, okay, so let's leave that for a second. You can see how that is. And I really like the iridescence of it too, of the, what Micah does. Maybe put a little bit of here. I'm going to let that dry. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. I'll let that dry. Give it some depth there. And I'm essentially just washing it with this. It's all going to wash off. It's just soap. It's just fun. Entertainment. You know, I get a lot of people ask me, well, it's just soap. It doesn't last. How do I make it last? I'm like, it's not a rock. <laughs> it's just soap doesn't matter does it does it really matter how long it lasts I mean granted you want a nice bar of soap that's gonna last you a little a few washes right my bars last I don't know quite a long time I don't know about a month and two of us use a bar of soap so it's not like we don't shower a lot we live in a very hot part of the country so yeah we do shower a lot I don't know anyway so you can see they're just browns. I'm not going to tell you which browns I use because it doesn't matter. You could just use any brown, not oxides. Micas work a little bit better. So this just dried. Now you can see sort of how iridescent it is and like this. This has, I can see there's a little oxide right there. I don't think I happen to have any right here, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. You can go back and touch them up or whatever. And essentially, you know, they do happen to look sort of realistic. I didn't intend it to be that way. I just wanted to make a pretzel. So in this case, I'm going to make them look magical realistic and I'm going to put a little gold on them before I... Ooh, look at that. That's so cool. So these little mixing pots are like seriously inexpensive. Maybe well, I don't know what's inexpensive for you. For me, for anything under $5 is inexpensive. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little gold on there as a highlight because they're magical pretzels. You 
You know, when I was a kid, if you said something bad, you got soap, you got your mouth rinsed out with soap. I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm just saying that's what was. So today, people saying that they're they're all freaked out by food, soap that looks like food, and in some countries it's banned, which I think this is ridiculous. And le like legislators, legislators and politicians don't have anything better to do, except for spend taxpayers' money. But that's a whole other topic. And I think that the fact that they would even bring their attention to that just is lunacy. So in any other country, if you bite into something that you think is food and that it turns out to be soap, maybe that was meant to happen. <laughs> I don't know. I could be a terrible person. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of this. Um, I have water over here, so I'm gonna put some water on here. And the bigger flakes will stick, right? Because I got this out of the drawer and one of the flakes broke off. I really like the shape of the salt. And I like the texture of it in food too. I forget about this salt. I don't use it enough, but maybe I'll put it back on the counter and use it. I think that's pretty cool. And then you could just actually grind it up and put it where it belongs there. Oops. And then once it dries, it'll stick. Now it's not permanent, of course. Again, salt, I mean soap. Well, salt isn't permanent either, so there you go. It's all gonna wash off. People actually put, well, as you most of you know, your soap makers, put salt in their soaps. So no harm, no foul, right? It's all relative. Anyway, there you go, my little golden my golden little nuggets of pretzel and goodness that I don't let myself eat. But anyway, I hope this really helped. I hope that you had a little chuckle over it and that you have a really great day. So thanks for watching.